So guys, welcome to another video. I can't believe I'm actually making a new video because I haven't made a video in like three years. This game wasn't getting updated anymore and I didn't have any reason to make a video on a game that's dying. But for some reason, in 2024, it's getting updated again. And you might think that's weird because the last update was in 2023, in June to be specific. And as you can see, the owner is banned too. He's not even f a free man anymore, he's in jail. But when he was a free man, my boy Simbuilder made a little mistake that would give anybody the possibility to edit and tweak anything in Vigo Simulator. He uncopy locked the game for a brief moment. Like, it was an accident, but everybody could download the file. A lot of people made modded versions of Vigo Simulator. One of them is really popular right now. It's called Vehicle Simulator PR, uh, Project Revamp, Revamp, something like that. And the point of this game is to restore, like kind of restore the glory of Vehicle Simulator as it once was, and to add new features that people could, can enjoy. Something that Simulator wasn't able to do in the last years. And one really funny thing about this game is that it is more popular than the original version of Vehicle Simulator. So people rather play this one than Vehicle Simulator made by Simulator. So I really have a lot of hope and anticipation for this game. So let's see. Um, let's see how it works. Let's see how it feels to play this game. So this is the PR version, the project revamp version. And let me just try. So I'm just going to drive around and see what I'm going to stumble upon and let you guys know. So the first drawback I'm finding right here is the drawbridges actually nobody likes them nobody liked them they should remove that actually everyone was upset when they added it and nobody got used to it and the creator of this game is also trying to add new features that didn't exist or weren't um, working anymore in the old version so for example when you make gear shift the exhaust actually pops And one thing I've noticed here is that you can actually walk around in the dealership like back in the days in like in 2018, 2019 and see all the models and see all the car models. I really missed that when they removed that and I'm really glad they have returned this to this uh, revamp version of the game. And the creator has also added different cars that didn't used to exist in Vehicle Simulator like the EB110. He added more Pagani's more Ferraris, even the Hennessy, they were so slow in adding new cars back in the day and this guy just adds a lot of cars. But I know these models are probably not made by him, but still, Vico Simulator would never do something like this. I think the most remarkable car in this dealership is actually the Murcielago, because the original game already has the Murcielago, but I think the owner found it too ugly to add it in his own game. And it doesn't work either, because in the original game it just breaks down the moment you spawn it. For example, if you want to drive the Murcielago in this game, you won't be able to do that because it's just tweaking. Sounds like that one meme that says... In this game, the 991 just works fine. Um, one thing though, forgot to fix, is that the headlights don't have a glass cap. And if you're broke, you can actually use all the perks in this game as they are free. Insanity, you can just enable that, no problem. And all the other jobs are also available to anybody. I think this version is really nice, even though there are still a lot of bugs. For example, I cannot scroll down like I used to be able to. And I really like how the whole train system is gone too. That is so weird. What the? What is this? Can I just climb? And of course you can still glitch into the ground. That's just something the chassis of Vico Simulator is really used to do. I like how this became an actual beach. Like there used to be nothing here and now there's palm trees and beach par parasols and stuff. I think this version of Vico Simulator really has a big potential to become even more popular than it already is. First of all because there's actual active development. Unlike in the actual Vehicle Simulator, 
I sense great performance, driving is fine, chassis is fine, there's just a lot of bugs that used to exist in the original game and a lot of impurities that they need to work on just because they are continuing the work that Sim Builder has never done. I really appreciate what the owner is doing here because the game is actually playable and it's great to have updates where you get new cars and new features. What is this? JDM import? Wow. He made a store just for for Japanese import. That's really nice. Look at the exhaust. <laughs> it's a custom one. R32, R33. And he actually made a new racetrack. Wow. This one's looking really great actually. Like it has some elevation, curves, nice curves here. Well, kind of short though, that's one thing. It's way too wide. The roads are way too wide. And one thing I noticed when I joined this game was the classic map being over there. I have a little trouble going there, but I'm really excited to see this. Ooh, that's nice. That's old. That's old. Wait, let me see the map. Yeah, that's the old one. Oh, the old car sh auto shop. This part. Oh, I haven't driven on this part in years. What? Just take me back. Where are the fire rings? There used to be fire rings here. Hmm. Oh, there is a leaderboard though. So let me see. So he has added some new features in the old classic map. Does it say hell? No, it doesn't say hell. Why doesn't it say hell? Ah, There's no hot pursuit. They should bring that back. There's no place here to join hot pursuit. Oh yeah, this is 2019 because of the new racetrack. Yeah, this one. What the hell? Wait. You can just add monster... What? Wait, can I do that too? Wait, auto shop. Wait, tires? No, that's different. Rims? Wheelie bar? Build a ram on any car. What the? How do you do? I want that. I want that. I need to know. I need to know how do you do that. Still, but this bug hasn't been fixed. But I can fix it myself. A lamp post, even better. Wait, can I drive on this bridge? Oh, yeah, it isn't. Okay. Oh, I think it's a separate vehicle. Okay, let me see. I'm not seeing the bus version on it, but I can do the yacht version. How do you? How do I even? How do I even get up there? I might be able to do something. Just might. Oh, I got it. What the? I can just. Uh... Mhm. Mm I'm tweaking right now. This is this is why you shouldn't do drugs. So can I do a quarter mile on this thing? Let me try. Um, no, because my wheels are here. Oh my god. What? I haven't been here in like five years. This is really nostalgic. Wow, huh? That was a really cool diving animation. Okay. <laughs> it just disappears. Oh. What? Oh yeah, I used to die when you touch a Dominus. I I forgot that. I completely forgot that. When you click a Dominus, you just die. It's actually an entire team that's working on this project. I just found it out. They're doing a great job at what they are doing right now. I wish them the best in this project. I really hope to see more of it. I really enjoyed playing it. The performance is better. The lighting is better. They're really putting their efforts into this game by adding fun features like 
the Lil Nas X car. It's a play on the baby car, I know. But it's still fun. And I really hope to see more of it. That'll be the video. Okay, yeah. Bye.